welcome to metabolic engineering course. This course will be taught by Professor Pinaki Sod, Department of Biotechnology, IIT Kharagpur, and myself, Professor Amit Ghosh from School of Energy Science. Uh, as you know, by middle of this century, uh, our population will become 10 billion. We need more food, we need more energy. And to, to solve these challenges, metabolic engineering can be very useful where you can engineer the biology to produce more food, more energy and the techniques we will be learning from this course which will exactly solve this problem. So far you have seen that uh, mo most of the energy which comes from raw petroleum uh, that is non-renewable. So engineering biology will be able to actually uh, produce energy from biomass. The center of our bio refinery is basically the microbe. The microbe can be engineered uh, to produce different product, uh, different uh, chemical uh, which, which, which you already getting through fossil fuel, uh, fossil energy. And this to do that uh, you need to learn metabolic engineering. Uh, the metabolic engineering is a way we can actually integrate the gene uh, of different uh, organism like plant, human being, microbe or any mammalians organism and this gene you can put it into the microbe and, and try to get that product. So the microbes are the center hub in biorefinery where you can build any pathway today because of the revolution in genetic engineering. Through genetic engineering uh, you, can, you can insert any pathway uh, and produce your desired product and this cycle is known as design, design build test learn. So using design build, build test run, uh, through design you will be designing a host, uh, the metabolic pathway you want to engineer uh, in the cell uh, that in based on uh, in literature database you can identify the metabolic pathway which is suitable for production uh, in the microbe that you can design and then you can put those pathway using genetic engineering tool like CRISPR-Cas9 uh, and you can build the part, uh, assembly part and then analyze and test it uh, how much it is producing and further you can analyze the metabolic pathway, uh, you can optimize the metabolic pathway and interpret and then again you design. So it is a iterative procedure where you can actually design, build, test and learn. So in this course we will be learning uh, several techniques. We will start with basic uh, concept uh, of metabolic engineering, uh, uh, what are the scopes, what are the application and then we will directly go to the hands on uh, tool that is MATLAB. Using MATLAB we will be able to design the metabolic pathway and then uh, you can also construct a metabolic network uh, using the technique that will be taught in this course. And then once you have the metabolic model and the metabolic pathway uh, uh, organism specific and then you can do the metabolic flux analysis, flux balance analysis, flux variability analysis and then also you can determine the metabolic fluxes uh, experimentally uh, in the sense that you have a technique uh, which is based on the isotope level substrate and the, and the technique you will be using like uh, isotope ma mapping matrix, isotope distribution vector. Uh, and then how you can actually apply this technique that is isotope level metabolic flux analysis in different example uh, that will be taught. Moreover, we will be covering experimental tool for uh, metabolic engineering, uh, the pathway development through genome scale uh, metabolic engineering CRISPR-Cas9, then adaptive laboratory evolution technique and reverse engineering. And, more, and also we will cover the example of uh, pathway manipulation by metabolic engineering uh, for example in bioenergy, bioremediation and healthcare and also in agriculture. So this is can be a very practical uh, course where you can learn this technique uh, through, uh, um, through this guideline and through the uh, mathematical tool like MATLAB which we will be implementing in the course, uh, we, we can design the pathway so that you can get a feel of the uh, different metabolic pathway and, uh, and the technique we will be applying is the optimization. Using the optimization technique, you would be able to get the metabolic fluxes uh, in silico but that can be implemented in the experiment as well. Uh, so some of the product you know already that these are the product have which have came in the market because of metabolic engineering. For example, uh, artemisinin, this is the drug which is used for malaria and, and the cost of the project which was uh, uh, done by UC Berkeley by Professor Jake Esling, 
uh, the cost of the project is around 50 million dollar and it took almost 10 years and uh, and now the product is in the market similarly we have a product but, um, uh, propanidiol 13 propanidiol bdo pdo and uh, and it is used to manufacture fibers and the cost of the project is around 130 million dollar and it took almost 15 years so metabolic engineering is a long term and is a long process and in learning this technique will definitely help you to actually uh, solve different challenging problem not just energy not just uh, food uh, it can be applied in various fields so i welcome you to attend this course uh, which will give you an understanding of how metabolic engineering are done uh, and, and and it will be helpful in your future uh, and thank you for listening thank you thank you all